class t-shirt information. I've got way too many announcements today in sports. All this and more is coming up on UPC, and it starts right now. Good morning and welcome to the September 22nd edition of the UPC Morning Show. I am Jillian Pavlica. And I'm Heather Zimmerman. Attention Marine Biology Club members, there will be a meeting today in F5 at 1.25 p.m. Bring your entertainment book money. And there will be a meeting this Friday during the lunch activity period in Mr. Cooper's room in B-Wing for any sophomores interested in helping design the class t-shirt. Even if you cannot attend, please bring your ideas to buy Mr. Cooper's room. Anyone 17 years of age or older who wishes to register to vote, please come after school to the mock voting booths and sign up. Deadline to register is November 1st for the upcoming presidential elections. Any questions, contact Katie Hart. Attention seniors, class t-shirts class will be on sale from Wednesday to Monday. Don't miss out on your senior class t-shirt. They will be sold for $10 each during the lunch activity period in the main concourse. And there will be a Peer Connector meeting today, September 22nd, at 125 in J5. If anyone can't attend, please see Ms. Stevens, Vasilou, or Dimmer. Juniors, buy your class t-shirt this week in front of the Media Center before school, during the break and after school, or see Ms. Schuster t-shirt. T-shirts are $10. Sorry. Thursday, the September 24th, there will be a Powder Puff meeting in room C1 at 125. If you do not attend, you will not participate. There will be a computer club meeting today, Wednesday, September 22nd at 125 in room 88. Anyone interested should attend. There will be an art club meeting immediately after school today, Wednesday, September 22nd in Ms. Tan's room M3. New members are always welcome and the activity is creating junk sculptures, so don't forget to bring supplies for your project. The meeting will last until 3 p.m. If you have any more questions, see Ms. Tan or Belinda Lagasse. Students interested in a part-time job should check out the job board located in the A-Wing Hall between A2 and A3. Any students that need to take the four-hour class to get their restricted driver's license, there will be a registration at Countryside on Thursday, September 23rd. The class date is Thursday, September 30th from 1.45 to 5.45. Flyers are available in the front office. And now let's go to Shannon with sports. Thanks guys, I'm Shannon Altner with UPC Sports. Open Mat Wrestling is on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2.30 till 4.15. And also if you are interested in joining the varsity or JV wrestling team, all insurance and physical forms must be turned in by Friday, September 24th. See coach in room K6 if you have any questions. All boys interested in playing soccer, preseason conditioning will begin Monday, September 27th. All papers must be completed and turned in to Coach Sika as soon as possible. If you do not have all your paperwork completed and turned in, you will be unable to participate until all the requirements are finished. There will be a mandatory meeting for all boys trying out for this year's basketball team on Friday, September 24th at 1.30 p.m. in the driver's ed room. Boys basketball conditioning will begin next Monday, September 27th at 3 p.m. You must have your physical and insurance information turn in before Friday, September 24th. This meeting is mandatory. If you do not attend, you will not be able to try out for the team. All football players that int intend to try out need to attend the meeting or they need to speak with Coach Marinak directly. No exceptions. Girls soccer conditioning begins Monday, September 27th. Meet on the track at 2, ready to work out. Everybody interested in playing needs to attend on Monday. If unable to attend, please see Coach Saltz prior. And congratulations to the JV football team for going 3-0. and They beat up on Clearwater last night, 45-8. to uh, They look to continue their winning streak next Thursday at Tarpon Springs. The golf team also had a win yesterday, defeating Largo and Pinellas Park at Bellevue 
Biltmore Golf Club. The Cougars shot 147, Largo 169, and Pinellas Park 222. Countryside's team was led by Tyler Williams shooting two under par 34, Zach Walton shooting one under 35, Justin Taylor 39, and PJ Kalosvery 39. Sorry if I pronounced that no, wrong. Um, the golf team is now 6-0 overall, 2-0 in conference play. And also, all varsity volleyball players meet uh, um, at 5 p.m. today. See Coach Bailey for any questions. And last announcement, the varsity football team will be playing at Northeast tomorrow, night bringing all the energy from last week's home game. So if everyone can try to get to the game, the team would love the support. And that's finally all I have today in sports. Now back to the news desk. Thanks, Shannon. Juniors and seniors who are interested in gathering information about USF St. Pete campus are invited to attend an open house Saturday, October 23rd from 10 to 2. Students who plan on attending USF in the fall need to apply by December 31st. The Brown University Alumni Association of Tampa cordially invites all students interested and parents to an introduction to Brown University tomorrow, Thursday, September 23rd from 7 to 9 p.m. The informational meeting will be at Tampa Prep, second floor, room 2015 at 727 Class Street. So Heather, you know, I like your shirt and all. Chubby yeah, Tough. representing Chubby Tough. Shout out to Kevin. What? What up, <laughs> Kevin? <laughs> you know. <laughs> so we have Ryan Cabrera. Ryan Cabrera. Okay, yeah, check it out. Tight. Check it out. <laughs>